They're gonna think it's stupid. Now, I haven't published many YouTube videos lately, but um, the day before yesterday I published three. And as soon as I felt so good after I uploaded them, and, and then I realized somebody's gonna think this is stupid. And then I started to get that feeling of why am I doing this? Now I think this happens to a lot of creators because really cr the act of creation takes you out of everyday life, the routine of everyday life, the boundaries of acceptable ex normal existence. It can put you into a bit of a storm, into a bit of a maelstrom where you have people telling you, uh, you know, as I was told many times when I was younger, oh, you want to be a writer. Uh, you're probably gonna have a hard time at that. It doesn't pay very well. Or, oh, you want to be an artist? Well, uh, prepare to starve. So, um, why? 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 Why does that? I don't know if that's happened to you, but why does that go through your mind? Like they're gonna think it's stupid. Well, one reason I think is because I could be misunderstood. People may not get what I'm trying to say. At least in my case, I express myself very well in writing, I think, but in speaking, uh, not always that well. Um, another reason is because, well, let's say I'm talking about cryptocurrency, I'm not a coder, I'm not a programmer, I'm not an economist. Um, you know, those people have certain ways of looking at things, and I just don't look at it the same way. So. They, you know, I might be called utopian, idealistic, um, I could be called any number of things. But at the same time, in cryptocurrency, I see a lot of the coding uh, people with a very narrow focus. Every problem can be focused, can be solved, in their opinion, through code. And uh, it's like Roger Veer said uh, recently, maybe even at the Satoshi's Vision Conference, uh, the developers, you know, need to respect that sometimes uh, some problems are best solved uh, by business people, you know. And that's the kind of uh, thing that I think people in cryptocurrency need to understand. The programmers and the economists, uh, they're going to get, they're going to be the masters in their domain. But when it comes to a topic like adoption, uh, mass adoption of cryptocurrency, does anybody have the answer to that yet? I don't think so. And that's one of the reasons why I'm making these videos, is to find the answers to that. Um, another reason is that people may look at me as, as a noob, especially in the cryptocurrency uh, arena, because I don't, I don't lead any projects, I'm not a developer for any projects, I haven't really done anything notable in the cryptocurrency area. Um, and I mean, I have been using Bitcoin um, to trade, well not to trade, but to buy and sell things since 2011. I got my first uh, Bitcoin as a donation because I did uh, a conference where there were some Bitcoin presentations. But anyway, that's another thing, you know, like I walk into something new and I think, oh, they're going to think what I'm saying is stupid because they're going to think I'm just a noob. I don't know anything. I'm just some idiot, you know. But, uh, you know, in your creations, I think an important point to consider is that, uh, you know what, sometimes it's the noobs who have the most to offer. For example, a, a, uh, an expert uh, piano player, they may not remember what it's like to learn to play the piano and therefore they may not make the greatest teacher but if I am learning to play the piano now um, then and if I let's say I'm like a month ahead of you in terms of learning I've learned a few things that are of use to you but I'm not so far ahead of you that I've forgotten what it's like to learn those things and so my 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 bottom line point here is you as a creator, when you have that thought, oh, they're going to think it's stupid. You can't let yourself be deterred by the fact that you're a noob. Because a noob brings, a, a, a humble noob brings a perspective that is useful to other noobs. 
You can't let yourself be deterred by the fact that there are people in your field with very narrow specializations who may not appreciate what you have to say because you may be bringing a piece of the puzzle that they miss. And uh, you can't let yourself be deterred um, by, I mean, really anything. I mean, life is a storm, just like the one that's raging around me with the lightning. And we can seek the routine, predictable path. We can seek a university, job, career. But you know what? Oh my God, it's so boring. Let's get out in the storm. Let's be creators. Let's face up to that lightning, those haters, those doubts, those powerful doubts, and let's create.